After a few nerfs Julian received, it seems like he's not such a bad priority anymore. Nowadays, I see that he's quite open in a lot of occasions. But even after those small nerfs, Julian is still an extremely deadly mage, and now that Glowing One has been proof as well, you can actually incorporate this item into his build. With this new build, he will be able to penetrate anyone without any discrimination, even the thickest of them all. In this meta, it's all about maximum penetration, you don't want to go full raw anymore. Anyway, Julian used to be banned in almost every single matches, so unfortunately, I didn't have much chance to play him. In total, I only got 4 matches with him. But since he is such an insane mage, even someone as inexperienced as me will find a way to do fairly decent. The great thing about Julian is that he can be played in every single role. I think even as a tank, he can do extremely well because of his third skill, which is a huge AoE CC skill. I will probably try next time my team needs a tank and he's open. Oof, this was absolutely painful to watch, but that's okay. It's my first time playing him in like forever, so gonna take a few attempts to get used to his combos. Alright Vale, I was planning to just go farm my jungle, but I have completely changed my mind. What for? Oh no, they have the number advantage. But since Julian is so naughty, it might actually be doable. He wanted to hook me, so here I am. Okay, Wasting's flicker is good enough for now. I can see one one on the left side, so I will take the opposite route. That was close. Don't think we can actually kill their tank, so let's not waste too much time and just take the turtle. But first, let's see if I can catch Sylvana by surprise and kill her first. Where to? Welp. Your team destroyed a turret. A maniac with just 4 matches in total, that's how absurd this hero is. It was quite risky there. He just wasted his only saving grace. 
big mistake. I'm gonna use Retribution because I don't think anybody is really gonna try to contest it. It's better to save it and use it when it's only necessary. Before engaging in a fight, you gotta assess the situation and make sure you can actually take the fight. Here, Balma is super under level and under farm. There's absolutely no way he can actually win this. Closing in. I was not even paying attention to the chat in this game because what they were talking about was extremely uninteresting. Wan Wan has full HP, but one single Union's first skill and all her HP will be gone. She survived with 1 HP. That's not. I'm even moving towards the left side to try to sidestep the hook. I guess sometimes, a bad aim is better than a good aim. Julian has insane burst, CC, dash, and on top of that, an immunity skill. How absurd is that? Round 2, 1-1. One, one. Lady, go! Break. Absolutely naughty. My mercy. Break. That smile is all I have. I need to be quite careful because it seems like they're after my nuts first. Whenever I'm solo doing the Lord at this stage of the game, I tend to get nervous because more often than not, that's when the team decide to start throwing while I'm away taking the objective. Closing in. Break. 
I probably should use the enhanced ult more often here, so my teammates could try to finish them off. Just that the enhanced first skill hurts like hell, and it's really good for poking. Even though it's only Sask and me, I feel like we could still end the game if we can somehow pick some of them off, which is highly possible. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next video.